Where's your fish? I just got chased by two sharks, mate. <laughs> the adventures of finding Avalon, friends. Last week we took a squally sail from Dominica to beautiful Antigua. We had to say some sad goodbyes, but got to enjoy some spectacular freediving in our new favourite anchorage. Over here we have Nevis and straight up ahead we can just make up the little island of Redonda. lunchtime and we're really hungry but we thought it'd be a better idea to go for a dive before we eat so we're gonna do that first you tend to forget that you're hungry once you're down there diving anyway I feel like we're in Europe again yeah very rocky and Mediterranean no sandy beaches here Well, 
I have lost my boyfriend. I'm really worried. I don't know where he's gone. I can't dive down because I broke my free diving mask and I've just got this huge one that really hurts going any further than two meters. And I lost him. I'm actually super concerned. I hope he hasn't blacked out on me. Tends to, tends to get a bit carried away when he's got the spear gun. Oh, there he is. I just saw some fins come up. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo. Relief. Okay. Oh, my heartbeat. There's a big barracuda. No. And he keeps following me. Ah, he thinks you're about to. He has faith in you. He believes in you as a spear fisherman. He wants to pick up your scraps. That turtle is cool. That was a cool stop off, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a super cool stop off. So, the history of Redonda is that uh, it was originally part of Britain when Antigua was part of Britain and they found phosphate on it in the 1800s so they began to mine it for about a hundred years when Antigua finally became independent uh, and the phosphate ran out it was no longer mined so there was no longer any settlers on there and therefore Antigua wanted to claim it as its own and to do so they put a post office there given that there was no one actually living there the post office was never maintained and therefore it just was left to, just left to deteriorate uh, and now there's no signs of it but yeah Redona is part of Antigua and a super cool little dive site that turtle was amazing and now we're sitting in the rain I waited <laughs> never a very schooly passage to Nevis yeah Morning. Welcome to Nevis. We had a little bit too much fun in Redonda yesterday and left about an hour too late and got here in the dark. So we had a bit of a fumble. The charts say that it's actually illegal to anchor here in Nevis and there are mooring balls you're supposed to grab. Had the high power searchlight on. Obviously wasn't high powered enough. Could not find a mooring ball for the life of us. And there was actually another guy anchored here. <laughs> Must have had the same thing happen to him. And we always do this pure lemming style. We always copy other boats and we just thought, sod it, let's anchor. So we dropped the hook and just seen now I've woken up in daylight. We just needed to go about a quarter of a mile further up and there's a bunch of boats there on mooring balls. So we're gonna get up and grab a ball, check in, walk around Nevis for a bit just so that we can say that we've been to Nevis and then our main attraction is St Kitts which is just beyond. Oh there you go and um, yeah just gonna wake the captain up so we can move on to our mooring uh, before we get caught. Just the man I was hoping to see. I was just coming down to wake you up. Oh, good morning. There's some toast in the oven. Oh good. Is it hot? 
Uh, yeah, it's probably burnt, to be honest. Do you want to get it out? <laughs> Burn. Go. Oh. United we stand, divided we won't fall. Earth runs deep within our soul. Yeah. We will leave out discovered by Christopher Columbus and its nomenclature is derived from the female body part as you can see. Perfect booby if you ask me. And we are here, we are here not for that reason we're here because we read in our little guidebook that there are some big sharks here and some turtles and what else is here? Oh, something yummy. Snapper. Maybe. Yeah, so, and you're allowed to spearfish here as well, so. Ready? Super clear. Yay. Let's get wet. Two sharks, mate. Oh my god. Two nice wow. sharks. I saw a huge shark on my way back. Oh my god. I told you they're aggressive. Oh. You didn't believe me, did you? Well, I don't know if they really chased me. But... The nurse sharks at Long Reef, if someone gets a fish, they are on you. So you had to let him go. Tell me that you're leaving. Sorry, baby. It's like so bad. I'm 
I out there like honestly thought that you were back here and I just got back. So I'm out there. Shot that lionfish. Did you see how big he was? Yeah, as well? he was I'm very I was very excited to eat him. And I was like about five millimeters from the perfect shot. It just kind of missed like the top of his head. So I've gone to the rocks because he was kind of sliding up and down the spear. So I got into the rocks, I think they might glove. So I got to the rock and then like got him in the head. I'm like, well now I'm gonna go back and get the other lionfish that was under there as well. So I go back to get the other lionfish. I'm down there have a go at him, miss him, spear gets stuck under the rocks, I'm like, great. So dive down, get the spear out, turn around from the hole, and there's the shark. I'm there, I'm like, right, well where's Xanthi? Aww. I need to tell her that there's a shark here. So, I'm then like, swimming around the hole, trying to find you, with the shark, with the spear that's just been stuck in the rock, so my spear gun's not loaded. So I've got the knife in one hand and the spear just kind of dangling. So then I swim over to the rocks onto the land so I can get some like elevation to try and see you. Can't see you anywhere. So I go back out to the hole with the shark. Like bravery metal. Like, there is probably all through that water where I was just like. <laughs> then I'm like, right. I'm gonna have to leave the lionfish. I'm leaving the lionfish. Not worth it. I need to find Xanthi. Xanthi's probably gone back to get the conk. I had gone back to get the conk. Oh, see, I knew was, you did. There was nothing in it. It was dead. I knew you'd gone back to get the conk. <laughs> So then I like, I'm trying to, I go to this side of the island and go back on the rocks again to try to see you. Can't see you. I'm like, okay, I need to go get the dinghy now. This is going too nuts. I need to go get the dinghy, come back out. So I'll swing back here to get the dinghy and you're already Sorry, I thought you were already so. Oh yeah. I came didn't, back. Didn't want to tell me there's a shark out there. No. Well, I was actually putting my fins back on to come back to help you bring the lionfish back because there's a shark right under the boat. But I think we should go down and see him because he's very beautiful. The shark? Yeah. Alright, after you. <laughs> Let's go. Why don't you just go in, go and get the barracuda? Oh. No, my dog for the day, thank you! To everyone out there in the Finding Avalon clan, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. For anyone that doesn't know, I've just released part one of my Tantalizing Titbit series, which covers the more technical side of our adventure and this cruising lifestyle. So, if you're thinking of your own adventure, maybe some extended cruising, or you've just bought your first boat, this series might be really useful for you. The full series is available for our patrons. A couple of the episodes were thrown up here on YouTube, such as provisioning for the Atlantic crossing and some of the tools and the equipment that we have on board Avalon. For this awesome bonus content, plus much more like Day in the Life series and a few highlights, please consider becoming a patron. And if you've got any tips, suggestions on how we could do things better, the kind of topics that you want us to cover off, please comment below, send us an email, jump on Instagram, whatever you need, please let us know. Thanks again for your support. Can't wait to see you next week. We've got a really important episode for something. I think there's a special, some special day coming up. Stay tuned for that. I can't remember what it is. It's my birthday. Make sure you join us next week guys because it's my birthday yo!
My father always said that many hands make like work, so let's tear it down, tear it down, tear it down. And we can build a mosaic path into Thanks the for catching up with us this week. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and smile at a stranger today. And big up to our patrons who make this whole thing possible.